Time to collect my ultimate grand prize, which would be the rest of the colored gems. Let's get these things. You know, it would have been cool if they like if they like gave you extra routes for these colored gems. They just made them an extra collectible, though. They lost their greatness and value from what they were in the main Crash trilogy. To give you access to more hidden areas. It would have been cool if they gave you like an extra shortcut or something opened up. Or even something like the adventure map. But no, just get all the colored gems, you'll unlock one more bonus track for one relic. Wow, how very exciting. I always wanted to feel like I could do one more race again. Halfway through the relics. Wow, we got another race. After beating all the gem cups, wow, another race. Beat all the races, wow, we get to race Oxide again. This is so exciting. Bramora, I thought that thing jumped out. Be like, whoa, this race is going a lot harder. If they actually change to that giant thing came after me, oh, that would be awful. Ooh, that would have scared the shit out of me, honestly. Well, anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. This is your host, the MJ406. And we probably don't have much to the actual adventure mode left. There's gonna be two more episodes left. We pretty much just got this last race. I mean, these last two gem cups. One more racetrack to get a relic on. And after that, it'll be time to take down Oxide once and for all. I guess. And, well, I imagine they might make his race a little harder. <laughs> but, we'll you worry about that later. At least he doesn't try to race me at these tracks. Just imagine the last time I had to race Oxide. We're going to do another Gem Cup! No! Not another one! <laughs> oh, God. Let's save this... This whole cup doesn't even, like, show off a battle mode. Like, it's pretty much just purely the races. I thought I'd at least, like, do something with the battles, but no. It's just the races on their own with nothing else added to them. That is mildly disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Whew, I had to make sure I avoided that freaking oops. The Nitro Box. So Coco Bandicoot looks like the tough one this time around. If you'd have been the tough one, we were going through the cup that had Coco Park. You dumb bitch. How could you be so wrong? Eh, it's Coco. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. <laughs> she's not the brightest bulb anymore. Wow, where are we going to this race now? You know, this is part of the first freaking world. All right, well... At least it's not in exact race order. That's good. Again, shaking things up to make it interesting. But yeah, like I said, after we do the adventure mode, it'll be time to go after the time trial. He freaking just dunked that on my face. I got dunked on by that freaking asshole. I don't like your face, Dingo Dial. You stay back. Nice that Coco got messed up there. Alright, so remember, Coco's the threat this time. We have to kill your sister. Ah! I had a feeling I just hit the edge of that. Well, at least she's enjoying herself. Let's put an end to that, shall we? Damn, Tiny, you and your bombs suck. I'm also guessing that the computers do not get to have three of an item on them at a time. That'll make them too powerful. Damn right, bitch. How you like that, huh? Ow! She had a bomb for me. I see. Way to keep things interesting. Nice to know us siblings always have our quarrels where we ex blow each other up with explosives. Remember, kids, do not try us at home. Do not actually throw explosives at your loved ones or they will actually die. And you will feel very bad. And you will be told to feel bad by your parents because... You will then be the lone sibling of your family, which may sound good to you at first, but then you'll realize you're very lonely and you are still a murderer at the end of the day. Don't play with explosives, kids. Don't play with explosives. 
then again, most kids should know better. If you don't, then you've either been playing too many video games, or your parents are terrible. Well, my parents throw explosions at each other all the time! Yeah, that, that just sounds like a toxic relationship. Your parents are probably going to divorce if it's getting that dangerous. I'm usually not one for saying that parents need to go through mindless divorces because of the children, but... You know, if it's so toxic they're on the verge of killing each other, then yeah, you could probably be without them both being together all the time. Oh, okay, this is a track I could probably get like a boost throughout the entirety of a lap on. If that lap was anything to go by, I could definitely do it. Yeah, Coco, go ahead and take second place. Perfect start! Huh. Oh, it's probably for the perfect start. Forgot a lot of them have like a number of times they want you to do things. It probably was starting like that like 10 or so times, whatever. I did 10 raises, so I would assume that number is in fact 10. Whether I'm right or not, well, I'll never know. Because I'm ignoring the <laughs> freaking... Yeah. And we're dragging mines again already. Very well then. Come everybody, it's time to die. Come die with me. Coco. Hope you enjoy blowing up. You waited way too long to jump, you dummy. And you get off me. Wah! Okay, I kind of accidentally took a jump and made me stop a little. That was not what I intended to do. He just gets right back out front. Yeah, you're right out in front. Not for long, bitch. Let me get everybody else out of the way so I can take her on solo. Somebody else can enjoy that TNT now. I left it all just for you! Now. Come on, everybody! Help me team up against my sister! Let us take her down. We must put an end to her and her antics. I refuse to let her go on any longer, thinking she's the superior bandicoot! No more of that in my house! She got crushed by the cart. Wow. Nice. That motherfucker tried to hit me! What did I do to deserve that, asshole? Eat post. Oh, So close. Eat missile, bitch! Here comes a missile my way. Or so I expected. I'm not used to winning this race without that friggin' shortcut. No! Oh, God, these are everywhere! Yes, keep knocking Coco down. Oh, if she gets further back than second, here she comes. Here she comes to wreck my day! No, Coco! Stay back! Stay back! Ow! Tiny! What?! Fuck you! You both got second! Go fuck yourselves! That's so uncool! Oh, never mind. Looks like they fixed it. Looks like Tiny got second, she got third. Ow! Wow, well, that was just rude. That was probably my own. Okay, I think Tiny got second, and Coco got third. They so wanted her to get second, though. They're like, no, 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 she got second, too. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Trying to force her to second place. Go screw yourself. Oh, no, but she's a second in this. Oh, she got third in the last race, and I didn't know. Or the first race, for that matter. It's very possible. I just do not pay attention to anything. Come on, everybody. Let's race. Yeah, baby, let us boost like mad. Whoa! No! Oh, it was going so well, too. Back off! Don't come after me, it's embarrassing! I think I, think I hit her, but I don't actually know for sure. I would love to have hit her. I hit her, it's bullshit! I did not hit her! I did not... I wish I did, though. Yeah, baby, let's go with this turbo! 
Oh, God! Whoo! Just saved myself there. Holy crap, I cannot believe I did not fall. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what you are made of. Mm. Oh, crap. Hang on. I keep boosting if I try hard enough. Yeah. Damn, riding this boost is so fun. Ah, oh, well. Ugh. That was fun while it lasted. Wow, this is like one of my best races because I actually like know how to use the boost in this level. If only I could do that with every race track. If only I knew how to perfectly boost through everything. But that's a long shot from now. Damn wall. Quit ruining my stride. I'm doing so well. I refuse to lose it to a bunch of copycat racing assholes who don't know what the hell they're doing. Damn right, baby. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. Eat that. Damn. Yo, Coco's getting messed up. Let's go. Let's frickin' go. Ah! I saw that coming. I still couldn't avoid it. Let's see you try to win now, Coco. Let's watch the map and see how she does. Wow, some of these missiles made a long... Although, Kura's actually really close. Oh, shit. Gotta go fast! Can't keep up with me. I'm like Super Sonic. I'm a cheap fucking character. Oh, yeah, I guess I could count that amongst the kart racers, I guess. Sonic R, even though they're actually physically running most of them. No! No! Ah! <laughs> yeah, Pearl, my man! Getting frickin' second. Damn, Coco got ruined. Damn. The whole thing just fell apart on her this course. God damn. I'm very happy that she fell apart like that. Yeah. In case some of you know what Sonic R is, by the way, when I talk about Super Sonic, oh god. I talked about I mentioned that game quite a few times on my channel. And you know, I don't hate it. It's definitely not a great racing game, but I don't hate it. Cause it's like actually like Sonic and Fred's like racing each other on foot. Not like Sega All-Stars or Team Sonic Racing, although both of those are pretty good. But oh man, oh man. Sonic R is a treat. If you really like torture. <laughs> in all seriousness though, it's... It has an interesting idea. And I know I mentioned early on in the LP, I mentioned the idea of the colored gems. What if you have to find them in the race course and get first place while holding on to them in order to earn them? That was a joke referencing the Sonic R actually. There are seven Chaos Emeralds to get amongst the racetracks in that game. And, well, in order to get the Chaos Emeralds, you had to find wherever they were, no matter how abstract they were to find on the track, and still win first place. If you got them and didn't win first place, they'd be like, Oh no, I'm sorry, you didn't earn the Chaos Emerald. Oh, what a shame. And like, I, when I say some of them were abstract places, oh, some of them were awful. Awful spots. Like, I should probably mention also, just to give some context, the courses themselves weren't... Uh, they're kind of hard to figure out what's going on. Needless to say, they're not designed very well. <laughs> the courses themselves are... If you actually saw the game, you can understand why I say the game looks unfinished. Like... It looks like a lot of the core of the racetracks are there, but the actual, like, assets themselves look like they're half-finished. It's atrocious. All right! All right with the missiles, everyone! That's enough. There's also a balancing issue at the game, amongst other things. That's why I mentioned Super Sonic. The way to get Super Sonic was to basically get all the Chaos Emeralds and all the tracks. Which there were like four or five tracks of the game. I know one of them was unlockable. And that had a uh, 
a cult classic song for the racetrack. Wow, I'm getting whooped this first race. I'm not liking this right now. I need to get items or I'm going to get whooped in the next week. How dare you, Cortex, after everything we've been through, you try to wipe me out like this? I'm keeping this on me. Because I can't trust these assholes. They definitely try to kill me right now. Well, if I'm getting an item, I may as well protect myself. There. Oh, God! The item's not worth it if I was going to lose the race for falling off because of it. So, Dingo is my target again, huh? I don't care about anybody beyond second place. Let's just go on. But, yeah, either way, I think all seven Chaos Emeralds to unlock Super Sonic. And the race assets look awful. Like, the game itself just looks bad. Like, it plays okay, despite being a little slidey. It, but because of how unfinished it looks, it's hard to get around. Some of the concepts of the race are kind of messed up. And, uh, yeah, it just leaves a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Like I said, I don't hate it. Behind all the frickin', like, Bull crap that the game does not look good for. I feel like there was a genuinely fun racing game in there. But a lack of balancing, probably the biggest reason amongst other things, is why that game is not fondly remembered. It's like I said in my Sonic Riders LP. Sonic Riders is the first, like, decent Sonic-based Mario Kart clone. Oh, believe me, Sonic R was not a Mario Kart clone. That thing was a whole different mess. Like, I I do like the ideas that game had, but it just wasn't good. It just wasn't good. It's nice to look at, to laugh at, but, you know, if you're trying to genuinely play as a racing game, you're going to hate yourself for it, because it's just not that fun. At least in the long run, it's not. Now, look at all those characters for getting the Chaos Emeralds and winning first. It was just stupid. It was stupid that they did that. For a game like this that likes to accentuate challenge, I thought that would have made sense. And besides, these cores are at least generally designed so they're at least, like, recognizable as tracks and not just, like, an open field or wandering, wandering around trying to figure out where the next place is to go. That was the other problem, because the unfinished assets, you could tell the course actually was. You had to try to just freaking run around and hope that you weren't going to be running yourself into a wall or something like that, or running backwards in reverse. There were also secret routes you needed rings to access. Whether you knew where those were, if they took you forward or not, you had to make sure you knew you were going the right way. Ooh, Aku Aku, first place. Now that is a good feeling right there. Screw it, I'm gonna do it now. Cause that will really help push me along. Yeah, it lasts slightly longer than the normal one with the juiced up version, right. Well, you didn't know that already by this point. You don't know what I knew. I didn't know a lot of things. Yikes. Damn it. Gotta remember not to jump for that if I'm already boosting my way along. A boost makes up for a jump you don't have. But a boost with a jump can get you to places you could not get to normally, like some shortcuts. Ooh, not a bad spot for that nitro crate, actually. Perfect! All right, we're done here. Just remember, you can't hit the item button to stop it while you have your shield on. So you gotta let the roulette go through all the way to its conclusion. So, yep. We're just gonna keep this barrier on the rest of the time. And again, nobody's gonna be able to get me the missile by this point, so. I shouldn't be worried about it. So I'm just gonna try to foul up everybody else with a bunch of random bullcrap. Wow. You really gotta time those jumps well if you wanna make the most out of the boost for them. So come on, then. Fine, you suck. Wow, I thought Dingo Dial was supposed to be my big competitor. This race, it's... Ti Jesus, Tiny is killing everybody! 
Oh my god! Wow, he is killing everybody else. Not as much as I was killing them, but you know. He's at least doing work. Come on, Tiny. Get second. Get second, Tiny. Let's leave it in suspense. I want him to get second so bad. No! Oh! Dago Dial just got ahead of him. I should have kept watching. Maybe it would have been better if I actually watched their place the test they got towards the end. Damn it, he was close, too. Oh, right, I never mentioned the unbalancing thing for Sonic R. That, uh... Oh, the racers were... Some of them were freaking cheap. I know some of the unlockable ones were kind of unfair, but the most unfair one, of course, was, uh... Well... That would be Super Sonic, who we unlocked all those Chaos Emeralds. His speed was on un, was unlike anything else, which makes sense. But the fact he had no limiting he had no limiting abilities whatsoever meant that he could just blaze through everybody, and while well, there'd be nothing anybody could do about it. Sonic Super Sonic was just a monster who could not be beat. It was bullshit. That's only one of the problems that game had. I should have saved that shield for after I got back on the track. I was gonna say as long as I get first, as long as I, I was about to say I automatically win this cup. That's not how this one works. Mm. I have to make sure that I uh, don't drift on straightaways, you dumbass. I know you're desperate for power sliding, but jeez. But yeah, Super Sonic in Sonic R is a broken mess. Like, ask anybody who's played Sonic R. They know that Super Sonic is by far the most broken character. There are other broken characters, but not like him. He's like a mess all on his own. I think it's like infamous amongst racing games in general, like just how broken he was. He's like one of the most broken ra characters in any racing game. He is just way too fast. But it's Super Sonic. He's meant to be fast. Yeah, but even still. I'm just saying, you know, that, well, it's cheap. And like I said, it's one of the reasons that people don't exactly look at, um, damn it, that people don't really look fondly on Sonic R. Sonic Riders is the first actual Sonic racing game that actually gave, like, good ideas. And then Sonic and all Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing came along, and well, made even better. That was an interesting idea they were doing all the Sega All Stars stuff, but I guess they're done with that now, aren't they? It was nice seeing a lot of the other Sega mascots that Sega seemingly forgot about being used in a racing game that starred Sonic, but at least showed off everybody else. It's like it, it was at a time where everybody thought all Sega thought about was Sonic. And then they had this. It's like, yeah, there's Sonic, but there's also everybody else that we remember from our franchises. And now it seems like all they're thinking about is Sonic again. But then again, his... Damn it. His friggin' 30th anniversary went by without really much of a bang. I know Sonic Color is ultimate, but even that was okay. It's kind of scary to say the best way to play it was the Wii version still. Because the board was crap. Well, at least on Switch it was awful. Not that I got some of my colors old. I knew it. I should have freaking thrown that bomb backwards. But you know what? Screw you. And I lost this race. Mm, unless. Wow, thanks for giving me the victory. Unless you're trying to really spoil me by hitting the missiles I crossed the line. Bro, get good. <laughs> he just slowed down to like a crawl at the end. Thank you, but dude, try harder. My goodness. Yeah, long story short, Sega needs to work more on... Wow, I thought we were talking about Sonic R. I wouldn't mind if they tried to remake that game, though, in all honesty. I think it'd be kind of cool if they remade it. Because I think it would be, you know, nice to, like, try that kind of racing game again. 
I mean, they did Team Sonic Racing. They clearly don't care about the other Sega characters in Sonic Racing games anymore. Or they try to get people to forget about all the other side Sonic characters. That was one of the things that made Forces really rough. All side characters were literally just thrown in. Bro, you don't have to push me along like that. I can race on my own, thank you. You don't have to discourage me and then try to re-encourage me. That's just not cool, man. There we go. God damn you, you ruined my boost, you asshole. Whee! Yeah! Damn it, I hit the wall again. Haha, -ha, hit you with a barrier. How'd that make you feel? Bad, I hope. I do like this racetrack, though. Yeah, I, I hope that Sega does keep remembering their other Sega mascots. Even if it's not for a racing game with Sonic in it. But I can understand why they don't need to do that. Or why they feel like they don't need to do that. But... At least now we know Sega cares more about other franchises than frickin' Sonic. Hello. Monkey Ball's making Renaissance thanks to frickin' Monkey Ball Mania. Jeez. It's like reliving the past, the greatest pastimes of all your great franchises is referred to as Mania. I was gonna say, what's next? Yakuza Mania? <laughs> Yakuza Mania. And they, like, made a cartoony version of Yakuza. Oh, come on. There's our, it's already, like, somewhat cartoony as it is. It doesn't really need a quote-unquote cartoony version. It's already ridiculous in its current form. And that's what makes it so great. But Yakuza has been one of the best series that Sega has had under their umbrella for a bit now. And there's also, you know, all the Atlas stuff that Sega has. They have a lot to go around. But again, Atlas is kind of their own thing. Although, every once in a while they'll tie in. Like having that cat character, uh, what's his name? Mona? I think, from Persona 5, being one of the, uh, characters you can buy in freaking Monkey Ball Mania. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, I haven't talked about Monkey Ball Mania, have I? I mean, he's such an avid fan of the first two Monkey Ball games. Well, I'll just say this. The core game is almost as good as I remembered it. Although all the, uh, the paid DLC crap can kind of go die in a fire. There's a little too much there. I I know all of it was just, like, little cosmetic stuff, but, you know, it was kind of annoying, some of it. Like, I didn't like how, like, the old-school soundtrack and old-school Monkey Ball models were locked behind a paywall. Like, that's just mean. That should be an in-game bonus. Or at least, like, a... Could have been, like, a pre-order bonus or something. Oh, God, no! Somebody's trap worked very well there. Needless to say, I love what the game was. I hate what the DLC was that they offered. Because, honestly, that was just mean. To lock all the shit that people loved about the first two games behind a paywall... Well, at least with the, uh, yeah, the classic character skins and classic music track DLC. Heck yeah, but, oh, the music from those first two games is still fantastic. I love the music from the first two Monkey Ball games. I always do. Ha, Dingo Dial got fourth! Ha, 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 ha! How's it feel to suck, bitch? Gem Collector! Earn all the gems in the Adventure Mode! Good! With that, we unlock the final racetrack to get our last relic on. Oh, finally. About goddamn time. Me and Mago Old Mania was great. Hopefully <laughs> they'll take the template of that style they did for Monkey Ball Mania to try to make future Monkey Ball games. And they even use that game to, you know, highlight a lot of their other great Sega franchises. And even their own consoles themselves in there. Except for the Genesis, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But, man. Purple suit pinstripe. Yeah, it's just... 
Eh, do they have to make their all paid DLC? Sega, if you want to come up with competent games to rival those of your rivals, well, yeah. Like, actually do it and do it right, damn it. That's all I have to say. Okay, let's end the subsuit here. And with all the gym cups taken care of, we have unlocked the turbo call, turbo track. <laughs> We're not going in there yet, damn it. We're going to do that next time. So we'll come back next time for the last episode of the Adventure Mode. I kind of want to call it the finale of the Let's Play, but... Well, I have other stuff to do, like the time trials. I guess the finale... I guess technically it will be the finale. Screw it, we're going to call it the finale because it's the end of the Adventure Mode. The bonus episodes, we go over time trials and everything else. So we'll come back next time for the quote-unquote finale of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, where we get this last relic, and then we take down Nitrous Oxide once and for all and see how we truly defeat him. I don't think it's going to be any different, but we're going to make him feel like more of an asshole. Works for me, damn it.